quarter. You guys made a run in that third quarter. Tell us a little bit about what was going on. Our kids just fought. This is probably, I mean, this is a game that I'm the most proud of them. Um, you know, they never gave up. We didn't play very good this first half. Um, and they showed their resilience a little bit. And, you know, to, to just do what they did. Uh, you know, I told them, you know, a lot of tears on senior night. But I told them, this is a great memory. Win or lose. I tell the kids all the time, that, you know, it, it, it's definitely about the journey. It's not necessarily about the destiny. Um, I think they put themselves in Absolutely. Absolutely, you did a, a heck of a job. Um, you made some great throws, caused some great plays down in that stretch at number three. Uh, they were doing a good job of sitting over top of him quite a bit. They had number one over top of him. They, they would crawl over and put two on him. They were switching out a little bit. Tell us, what was the sequence when you seen that happening? Because the second half, he didn't get as elusive as he did in that first half. He started going the other direction. But your quarterback came in in that game, and he was tremendous with the quarterback keepers. That's something that you work on all the time. Sure. We're, we're pretty confident in number three, obviously, to go up over top of guys. But they were doubling him. They were holding their safety. They were doubling that safety. So uh, we noticed in the first half, we went trips. They couldn't double him, so he normally goes to the single side. We put him on the trip side, so they're having a hard time doubling him. Um, you know, and he made some plays there at the end, but uh, obviously we came up short. So. Yeah. You know, uh, even though this was a great game, it was a conference game. You're going to next week. Uh, you'll go against Calgary Falls. Not the team we've seen in the last couple of years. They're a little down, but what is the preparation for that? We just got to be ready. We, we, we've actually played down the competition this year. That's kind of why I was been hard on them a lot this, this this year. That's why I'm so proud of them tonight. You know, they rose up. Obviously, Roar being a good football team. Um, you know, we were actually, you know, we had a couple guys out, some key guys out tonight. Yeah. And uh, some, some guys stepped up. Um, I can't be more proud. I, yep. I, I told them it doesn't matter. I just want to see fight. Yeah, you guys fought hard. Hey, Tony, congratulations. You became Barberton's all-time winners coach here. Uh, I think that puts you at 72 wins, right? Uh, you know what, man? Uh, 10 years, uh, what can you complain about? You ran a good program for 10 years, and it shows in tonight and the resilience of your players that played tonight, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tony.